Hi reception, welcome to the very last phase four phonics session. You've been amazing superstars over all of the weeks that we've been doing these sessions at home and I know we're going to have a fabulous last session today. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is to look at some of the words that I know you've been practicing at home. Then we're going to think about a last grapheme which sounds very similar to some of the others that we've already learnt. We're going to read some words using that new grapheme and then we're going to write some sentences again using those, okay? So, the first thing I would like you to do is to get yourself a piece of paper and pen or your whiteboard. And I would like you to write the word children. I started off with a hard one, didn't I? Have a good go. Children. Okay, are you ready? Let's have a look. C H I L D R E N. How did you get on? Great job, well done. Okay, here comes your next one. People. People. Okay, you ready? Here we go. P E O P L E. People. Very well done. Okay, your next word is what? What? What did you think of that word? A bit easier than these two? Okay, let's have a look together. Ready? W H A T. What? Great work. Two more words, okay? Here comes your next one. Little. Little. Have a go at writing that word. Okay, you ready? L I T T L E. Little. Well done. One last word. Okay, you're doing an amazing job. Keep going. Your last word is very very okay let's look at it together v e r y brilliant stuff well done okay that new sound that i was talking to you about this sound er uh, and this sound er uh, sound the same but they look different don't they well there's another one that also sounds like er uh. i know so we have er uh, er uh, or er uh. er uh, er uh, er uh. They all sound the same, but they all look very different, don't they? Apart from what? That's right, they've all got the er at the end, haven't they? So it's just the vowel that comes before it that's different. Well done. Er, er, er. So this is the er we're going to be practising. All right. And as if by magic, da -da 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 -da, here are some words. Let's have a look at reading them, okay? Mrs. Hamilton will have a go with you to start with and then I'll let you try on your own first. Right, you ready? First. First. Great work, well done, excellent start. Okay, your turn first, ready? First. Mrs. Hamilton let you go first didn't she let's read it together ready first well done 
your turn again. Here you go. Swirl. You ready? Swirl. Swirl. Well done. Okay, your turn again. Here you go. Girl. Excellent. Let's try together. G uh, oh. Girl. Well done. Oh, I'm sure we can read this word. You're going to have a go on your own. Okay, are you ready? What do you think the word is? I think you might be right. Let's try it together. Ready? The, uh, a birthday oh, what superstars you are amazing effort well done okay I'm going to rub this out because now we're going to have a go at writing a couple of sentences and we're going to practice using that new er uh sound okay so your first sentence is it was my birthday last week it was my birthday last week. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, are you all ready? Now, what do we need at the beginning of a sentence? That's right, a capital letter. And how do I know that I've finished the sentence? Because I've used a full stop, well done. So, let's have a go, shall we? It, capital I, T, finger space, was, so a tricky word, W, A, S, it was, finger space, another tricky word, my, M, Y, finger space, now I don't think I'm going to fit the word birthday in here, so I'm going to write it underneath. We've read that word, haven't we? B, I, R, our new sound. T, H, together. D, and our other new sound that we practiced with R, A. Okay, it was my birthday, finger space, last. L A S T finger space week W E E and it's a K at the end full stop it was my birthday last week well done that was a really good sentence okay one last sentence. Are you ready for a challenge? Of course you are. Here it comes. The third bird went to hop into the shed. The third bird went to hop into the shed. Pause the video and try and write the sentence. Now that was a long sentence, wasn't it? But I'm sure you've done an amazing job. Let's have a look at it together. So we need the word the at the beginning with a capital T H E. Finger space. Third. T H I R D. Third. The third finger space, bird, B, I, R, D, the third bird, finger space, went, W, E, N, T, the third bird, went, finger space, into, one of our tricky words, I-N-T-O, into, oh, 
the third bird went to hop. Mrs. Hamilton's written the wrong part. Silly Mrs. Hamilton. Hop. The third bird went to hop into. That's what we wanted to write, wasn't it? You're probably all sitting at home thinking, no, Mrs. Hamilton, that's wrong. The third bird went to hop. H O P. Now we need to write the word into, don't we? There we go. The third bird went to hop into, finger space, the T H E, finger space, shed. S H E. E, D. Full stop. The third bird went to hop into the shed. Amazing work. I think you all deserve to give yourself a round of applause. A fabulous session. Well done. Now, last week I said that you could choose a game on phonics play or letters and sounds. And you're going to be able to do the same thing again today. You could play one, two, three, however many games you'd like to. And over the summer holidays, it will be really good for you to keep going onto those websites and refreshing your memory with all of the sounds you've learned so far, reading your words and writing them. OK, and then you'll be tip top shape, ready to start in year one in September. Amazing work today. Well done. Have a lovely week. Enjoy the rest of the time this week and I will see you very soon. Bye.